after criticism of the uh, ridiculous, <laughs> thank you, way in which I'm supporting my rifles, I thought I'd better get myself a, a shooting seat with a, a support in it, and also a, a shooting table. I just don't feel like I'm an idiot or, you know, just uh, being a bit weird. Fact is, nine times out of ten, my shooting is improvised. It's here and there, wherever. So I make do and mend. I grab what I can to support the gun. Just think about it out in the field. If you are walking about, stalking a rabbit, is the rabbit going to wait for you to set up your bench? Doubt it. Anyway, here we go. Nighthawk Deluxe Shooting Seat. And the first thing I notice is, during shipping, it's managed to punch a hole through the box. So, mm, great packaging. Anyway, let's see how it looks when it comes out the box and let's see how it goes together. Instructions, fits. Excellent, let's build it. Well, looks pretty easy. I don't think even I can cock this up. Right, that's everything unpacked and inspected. Let's build it. Step one. Assemble legs and seat. So, have our folding part here. What you want to do is assemble the legs onto the folding part, facing to the side, not outwards. That way the feet can swivel and ensure that they're leveled out on the ground. These do give a decent amount of height adjustment. I'm doing it fairly low so that hopefully it'll stay in shot once it's built. trick with height adjustable stuff, fold the legs together and that way you can line them up to be even with each other. So then when you fold them out, they're level with each other. Okay, the seat. Post, centre of the seat, wing nuts, which is what poked through the packaging. Really should have packaged that better. Comes with these three washers here. Not really sure why. I'm guessing to pack it off of that surface there. Slide it down through. Little washer. Also, how the stud is protruding from underneath. Tighten up the wing nut without cross threading it. There's the wing nut underneath. doesn't love a spinning seat. Step two, assemble backrest and forearm rest. It's the backrest, get the air writing level. Now this gives you ambidextrous on this. So right-handed, forearm rest this side, left-handed, obviously you're going to assemble it that way up. So, armrest cushion, slide it on. So, again, gives you some length adjustment. And this part is the 
backrest support. So this kind of cross shape section, that's what goes into the seat base. So the other part of it goes into the seat back. Again, giving height adjustment. Tighten up. Locate it into the back chair. Quite tight. There you go. There we go. Now for the gun rest, this part here, this part here, and lift this way up into the rest. Again, provides a good amount of adjustment down and this then goes into the front seat like so there we have it let's see what it's like to sit on and rest a gun on Pretty comfy, cushion's not bad. It's a shame that isn't a bit straighter, a bit further up. Maybe I could bend it. Not bad, actually. Yeah, all right, not bad, not bad. Probably not enough cushioning for a spring gun, for PCP, no problem. Do wish this was straighter. That's all I'll say. This feels kind of weird. Mm. <laughs> anyway, let's not go that.